He is. Mm-hmm. There's, and I want to give some good answers here, man. I would honestly love to tell you that I've seen him like flip out, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like yeah, yeah, yeah. just because I think it would be good content because everybody does, right? Mm. But no, he, um, dude, he's always on, man. And I would love for you to meet him because I think it's so interesting the fact that when you watch him on um, YouTube, but then when you see him in person, it's very different. Oh, interesting. At, which is, I don't think where you were going. Like, is he the same? On like, he's it's it's different from the person that's watching him's perspective because when you're in person, like you can feel like his his presence and just the energy that he has, and it really rubs off on you, like. If he was in here right now while we were doing this pot, like if he was like just with you while you're doing like regular activities, like you do them like times 10, like it's just weird like that. But no, he, but as far as like character and like how he acts, how he treats people. Yeah. And that's, it's a actually a really important question to ask, I think, because mm-hmm. there's actually a lot of people I think you could argue out there that aren't like that. And admittedly, when I, I started, and Gary said this too, when he was starting his like Wine Library TV show, he was kind of like started the first episode and he was, he, you may know the story, he was going to say like, he was going to kind of like make up that the wine was great, even though he really hated it because he wanted it to be cool. But then he realized like, oh shoot, this isn't true. So what if I slip up later and say the truth and somebody's like, oh, I caught you. So there's that whole aspect. And I think a lot of people are doing that. And admittedly, when I started like, like I was trying to talk about things and seem like I was a really like I was an expert in things that maybe I didn't have a lot of experience in, but I think it's really important to talk about things that you've had personal experience with. Um, but he definitely doesn't talk about anything that he hasn't, like I said, experienced. And whether he, you're watching him on YouTube or if you follow him around every day, like I've had the chance to, and people like D Rock and Caleb. Yeah, man, he, dude, it's actually kind of weird. He's always like that. Like, mm-hmm. yeah. he's always like, ah, yeah. like all the time. So, yeah. yeah. Was there ever a time, like, especially when you first started where he did something and you were like, I can't believe, like, a guy that, like, of his stature just did something like that? I want to give you something good. Um, such a good question. I have so many stories that he's that have come to mind that are like just really cool stories but I'm trying to think of something that he's done yeah yeah it's the fact that I've been with him in so many different places where he's been around people that follow him it really surprises me how many selfies he takes like listen where I'm going how many hands he shakes how many conversations he has with as busy as he is like, I don't think p- people still don't get it. It's it's 16 to 19 hours, like Monday through Friday, like every minute, every day. He's like, he has no minutes in his schedule. But still somehow when people come up to him, and I've just seen this in person so many times, and even if you watch on YouTube, you see it. Like, it really surprises me, to be honest, the fact that he takes the time to, like, speak to somebody like me and like invite me up here and I I don't even think I told you guys this but like the first day I came up here like he called me and some other guys into his office and um I wasn't supposed to stay Mm -hmm. but I accidentally like I just was kind of like in the moment and like I sat down in the meeting he had a business meeting with three other people I sat down in on it and I go back and watch my vlog now but I didn't know this but I actually see Tyler Schmidt he's like doing like this and Gary's like Gary's like no don't worry about it like saying like should I kick this guy out and Gary's like no don't worry about it so he actually let me he he had no idea who I was we had met the night before once and he let me sit in on his meeting for like 30 45 minutes the fact that he does things like that because he just actually likes to connect with other people and he cares about other people it's actually what he feeds off of is like this kind of thing with others Mm -hmm. that's what feeds him the fact that he's willing and takes the time to do that with other people considering how busy he is and I guess you could say now how famous he is to a degree um I think that's really interesting Mm -hmm. 